हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मेगा प्रोजेक्ट्स आर ऑलवेज अ लाइफ लाइन फॉर थाउजेंड ऑफ सिटीजन इज इंट इट अ सिंपल ट्रांसपोर्ट नेटवर्क विद रॉबस्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कैन सपोर्ट एंड ईज द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ अ स्टेट विदाउट अ शेड ऑफ डाउट ऑन दैट नोट लेट एस असेस द इंफ्रा प्रोजेक्ट्स कमिंग अप इन द स्टेट ऑफ बिहार before that if you're new to this channel i would request you to please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to smash the like button and press on the bell icon positively bihar is a state in eastern india it is the third largest state by population and 12th largest by territory with an area of 94163 km square it shares its border with uttar pradesh to its west nepal to the north the northern part of west bengal to the east and with jharkhand to the south Only 11.3% of the population of Bihar lives in urban areas which is the lowest in India after Himachal Pradesh. Additionally, almost 58% of Biharis are below the age of 25 years giving Bihar the highest proportion of young people of any Indian state. The official languages are Hindi and Urdu although other languages are common including Maithili, Magahi, Bhojpuri and other Bihari languages. Most of Bihar's population belongs to Indo-Aryan speaking ethnic groups. It also attracted Punjabi Hindu refugees during the partition of British India in 1947. Hindi is the official language of the state and spoken by 25.54% of total population. At 8.42%, Urdu is the second official language in 15 districts of the state. However, the majority of the people speak one of the Bihari languages most of which is classified as dialects of Hindi during the census. Hajipur, Dalmianagar and Baroni are the major industrial cities in Bihar. The capital city Patna is one of the better of cities in India which measured by per capita income. Now that we have understood the essential of the state of Bihar, let us draw a focus on the top 5 biggest mega projects coming up in the traditional state of Bihar. To make it more interesting, we'll move in the descending order depending on the nature of project. The mega project which backs the fifth position is the Ganga River front in Patna. Bihar's capital city Patna is all set to get its own version of Mumbai's famous marine drive. The 5.50 km long Digha and Sinha Institute stretch of the ambitious Ganga pathway is all set to be opened by next year. Although the foundation stone was laid in the year 2013 but due to delays owing to litigation the project has moved very slowly but not anymore as all the problems have been sorted. The Ganga pathway is part of rupees 3390 crore project which is coming up on the southern bank of river Ganga to minimize traffic on the congested Ashok Rajpath. Most of the construction on this stretch is being done at grade level while a short span of it is on elevated structure. The Ganga path has been designed as a high speed corridor with excellent riding conditions and provision of allied facilities in addition to planned river front development activities and the project will have world class facilities like noise barriers and fencing street lighting pedestrian facilities landscaping and tree plantation and traffic and medical aid posts and many more the entire project will be completed by june 2023 The mega project which backs the fourth position is the most ambitious mega public hospital. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar launched an ambitious project that aims to upgrade the Patna Medical College Hospital and make the largest public healthcare center in the state which is going to be world class. The chief minister laid the foundation stone of the 5462 bed hospital coming up at the cost of rupees 5540 crore which is expected to be completed in 7 year the hospital that will be soon constructed in patna will be equipped with a special helipad for emergency air ambulance along with 60 modular operation theaters and 5462 beds according to official information the hospital that is being built over 78 lakh square feet will also have 487 emergency beds and a guest house with a capacity for 715 persons the hospital complex will also have 550 nurse quarters and 360 studio apartments what is touted to be the world's second largest and india's only biggest hospital will also have a massive parking capacity for 3334 vehicles The hospital will be linked with elevated roads for easy and uninterrupted access for patients and their families. 
सीएम नीतीश कुमार एज अर्ज द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स टू फिनिश द वर्क विद इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स द मेगा प्रोजेक्ट विच स्टील्स द थर्ड पोजिशन इज द हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द रिवर कोसी सुपोल डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन बिहार लोकेटेड ऑन द इंडो नेपाल बॉर्डर यूजली मेक्स हेडलाइंस बिकॉज ऑफ द कोसी रिवर दैट इमर्जेस इन टिबेट flows through nepal and floods the district every year leaving destruction in its way which is why it is always referred to as a sorrow of bihar but this time supol and kosi are in the news because the central government has just given a go ahead for the 130 megawatt dagmara multi purpose hydro power project it will be a run off river hydro project which means it will use the natural downward flow of the kosi river to generate power The project will generate clean and green power and is the first of its kind in the state. The project will come up about 60 kilometers downstream of the river and a little above the Kosi bridge. The plant will be set up at Bapthiai village on the left bank of the Kosi river. The catchment area of the project is 61972 square meters. According to the Bihar state government once the project is commissioned other than Supol the districts of Darbhanga Madhubani Samastipur Saharsa Madhepura and Araria will also benefit from it the MOU has created a buzz especially in areas falling close to the river Kosi people there see huge employment opportunities arising out of the project along with electricity the Dagmara project will also give fillip to the production of solar energy and fisheries The reservoir will enable both fishing and irrigation. There are also plans in the pipeline to create a bird sanctuary in the area that will attract tourists. The deadline of the project is 2 years from the start of work. Shifting our focus to the mega project which sits in the second position is the Nalanda International Cricket Stadium. Nalanda International Cricket Stadium is a proposed cricket stadium in Nalanda, Bihar. After completion of the project, the stadium will be home of Bihar cricket team. In 2018 it was announced by the chief minister of Bihar Nitish Kumar that an international cricket stadium will be constructed at Rajgir in Bihar's Nalanda district on 12th October 2018 Nitish Kumar has laid the foundation stone of Rajgir International Cricket Stadium the stadium will be the second stadium that can host international matches after Moinul Haq Stadium and will be built on model of Sydney cricket ground the stadium will be built in 90 acres of land with an estimated cost of 800 crores It was estimated to be inaugurated by 2020. However, due to COVID, the project stands delayed. Talking about the facilities, it will be a state-of-art stadium which will have facilities of 28 indoor and outdoor games including cricket with all other modern facilities like research center, motivation center, sports library, swimming pool, cafeteria and separate hostels for both boys and girls. The mega project which blissfully occupies the most revered number 1 position is the Patna Metro. Patna Metro is a rapid transit system currently under construction in the city of Patna which is the capital of Bihar. It will be owned and operated by the state run Patna Metro Rail Corporation. It is being constructed under a public private partnership mode and is estimated to cost 13411.77 crore. On 14 September 2011 The Planning Commission of India gave approval for the Patna Metro project. It is expected to run on three corridors by 2024. The first phase, the east-west corridor and north-south corridor that is Danapur to Mithapur and Patna railway station to Patliputra bus terminal ISBT will consist of a 23.30 km elevated track and 16.30 km underground track. It is expected that the first corridor will be opened by 2024. The first phase the east west corridor and north south corridor that is Danapur to Mithapur and Patna railway station to Patliputra bus terminal ISBT will consist of a 23.30 km elevated track and 16.30 km underground track respectively. In the second phase metro rail services will be provided between Bypass Chowk Mithapur to Didar Ganj via Transport Nagar along NH30 bypass 16.75 km it will be elevated along bypass road the third phase between Bypass Chowk Mithapur to Fulwari Sharif aims via Anisabad along NH30 bypass 18.17 km will be elevated along bypass road the fourth phase is from Didar Ganj to Fatuha junction The project received the central government's approval on 6th February 2019 and Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone on 17th February. 
In November 2019, DMRC unveiled changes in the project's detailed project report and the alignment of both lines. The changes led to the creation of a second interchange at Khemi Chak. In July 2021, PMRC organized a competition to design the logo of Patna Metro, inviting the public to take part with prizes on offer for the best submissions. The project is expected to be grounded by early 2024. With this, we come to the end of this video. However, there are plenty of other projects in the form of Mega Foot Park, Patna Ring Road, APJ Abdul Kalam Science City, Info and Tech Parks, Patna Airport Expansion and Bihar Film City. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various mega projects coming up across the length and breadth of the country. Bidding adieu with the promise that coming up next is the spectacular tribal oriented state of Jharkhand. It will be interesting to watch out what the state has made their plans to uplift the standard of living for the charismatic people of the state. Thank you for watching this video.